30 second drop zone. The ability to switch layers between the drop media and the storyline. Which means the storyline will play in the picture of picture effect while the drop zone media becomes the background. All you have to do is have the animation cross the 50% mark and you can program this to act like a remote. You can scale, you can position, you can fade in, fade out, you can change the border color, border opacity, the border width, and for the drop zone media itself, you can scale and position to zoom in on specific areas of the video. If you pan off the edge there, you can fill the blank space with fill opaque and choose a fill color. Okay, that's an overview of the features. This has a looping effect, which means any media that you place in the drop zone that's longer than 30 seconds is going to loop every 30 seconds. Any media that's shorter than 30 seconds, or if you trim the effect to less than 30 seconds, it will not change the speed of the video. Now I need to do this little section here to explain how to create a picture-in-picture -picture effect for longer than 30 seconds. I have a clip here. The easiest way to do this is to just add this to your storyline. And I've got a rough motion section right here. I want to get past that. I'll blade through this and delete this. So my first frame will be here. And I'll just stop this here. Okay, it's longer than 30 seconds. I'm just going to attach this out here for right now out of the way. I can put it under the storyline or out to the side, either way. Once I'm done with it, I can delete it. I'll select the effect, select the drop zone, select a clip that I want to put in the drop zone, and apply clip. Okay, and you'll notice the jerky motion at the beginning there is not in this. So the first frame is, is the first frame that I've cut from this clip. Let's see if we can get an orientation. Okay, that's about where the first bird flies in. So if I pull this out and go to 30 second mark right here and it's right there, you see the first bird come out. So this is looping. I don't want it to loop, I want it to go the entire length of the clip, this clip. Where it flies off the edge there. I'm going to reset the time to 30 seconds. Now I have this positioned where I want it. Actually I don't. Let me position this. Since it's going to cross over the face there. Let's move this to the other side of the screen. End up a little bit. 
Now I have that in position where I want it. I've got all my other settings how I want it. And I'm going to hold down the Option key, click on the effect, and drag it to the right. With snapping on, I'm going to run it up against the edge here till it snaps with the other instance of this effect. Now I'm going to line up my clip underneath to the beginning of where the picture-in-picture -picture title is. And to make that a little more obvious, I'll just drag this out here. And I snap that to the beginning there. I'm going to hold down the B key. With snapping on, I'm going to hold down the B key. And you'll see that it snaps right at this cut. So I'm going to cut where the two title effects meet here. And I can adjust this in to the end of that. Go back into picture in picture, click on the drop zone, click on this part of the clip, and apply clip. And I should have a flawless, okay, I have to take snapping off. And I'll go back to frame by frame. And you can see I have passed the edges here. And the video continues on. And I've extended my picture in picture. So there you have it. I can cut this up into pieces to do the animation if I want, or I can keyframe the animation inside one of these. So you see here I've got a, the switch going here. So that's how you use picture-in-picture. Picture. I hope you find it useful, and I'll catch you on the next one.